This is a video about the VESC project or the VEDA electronic speed controller project. It's a controller that I've been watching closely for a number of years. And as well as making our upgrade kits, we also like to build our own bikes and test all kinds of motors. So it's gonna be lots of fun to see what we can get one of these controllers to do. We have uh, five, maybe six, seven motors now to see how they pair. And in doing so, we should learn a ton about how this VESC works and be able to pass that information on to people in our community. A uh, huge shout out to Dr. DRS and JS, who at the moment are kind of blazing the trail on Discord with regards to firmware and updating firmware. There are actually uh, a series of VESC controllers of different sizes. And up until the last few years, they've been largely used by the electronic skate community. So longboards, uh, skateboards, mountain boards, that kind of thing. And the accessories that you can see on the, the Tramper website are for things like throttle control, uh, handheld units like Bluetooth. Um, and the hardware is very much for mounting these uh, onto, onto longboards or onto skateboards. Um, the really neat thing with this VAS though is it's a fully open source project. Um, it does seem that some of the large users of it are not respecting the open source principles, but essentially because it is open source, it's starting to get noticed more and more in the e-bike and electric motorcycle fields. And I've seen a few projects now using uh, VEST controllers. Uh, the unit I have here is from Tramper Boards and it's the official version and is one of the few that's really truly 100% open source in terms of component design and software. And if you have the skills, you can literally build one of these yourselves because the schematics are available. You can order in the components and solder away. And there are some YouTube videos of people doing this with varying results because it requires considerable skill in soldering surface mounted chips and components. And it's not a task for, for rookies. Not at all. I don't want to I certainly don't want to try it. Um, there are various manufacturers uh, making controllers based on the VESC architecture. And unfortunately, not all of the people doing this are prepared to work within the open source framework. For example, um, you can buy a Flipski ESC and that's based entirely upon the open source work by Benjamin Vedder and they've modified it to their own purposes. Unfortunately, they're seemingly refusing to make those changes available to the wider community, which is not really the point of open source. And it's making it more difficult to adapt the Flipski ESC to other projects, uh, much harder than needed. And there are some really clever people working around this, but the point of open source is that you shouldn't have to do this. Um, there's some very interesting features with this controller that make it an attractive proposition particularly for with the uh, the lightning rods motor and uh, that's uh, MTPA which stands for maximum torque per amp and this is basically a calculation that's performed by the controller and it's based on precise information as to the location in its rotation of the rotor and that allows more phase angles to be brought into play and therefore more torque exacted onto the rotor um, for pretty much the same power as on a different controller. So if I show you the rotor structure of the lightning rods motor, you can see how the internally mounted magnet set at angles can be acted on by switching the phases um, because the current is then regulated by the controller. Um, there's a potential therefore for the VESC to extract greater degree of performance for the same current. It should be said that um, MTPA and field weakening with the VESC are still relatively new features. So this is not something that we're looking to sell to people. This is just experimental fun. And it's definitely not something we see going out as a kit. But if you're interested in the VESC and want to have fun with us on Discord doing some motor tuning, then you're most welcome to join in because it, it's open source. The more minds, the merrier, the faster progress is made. Where this controller is more difficult to use is when it comes to displays and peripherals. And it's not like ASI or Bafang where there's so many stock options already, like the, the Egg Rider or the 750C. I mean, Bafang has loads of displays. You really have to come up with your own thing for this controller. 
so if we wanted to use a display with it it needs to be someone within the pool of people working on it that that shares one or you you make your own and there are already quite a few people on discord looking at aspects of this it's um it's very exciting and pleasing to see the discord community get used in this way uh the unit here is the 100 250 from tramper boards it has like a very, very usable size, I think. And power level, it's, it's somewhere around the back 4,000 level. Um, the wiring for the uh, the phase and the battery terminals is, is pretty interesting because instead of bolt terminals, they're actually running um, multiples of thinner gauge wires, which uh, are in parallel and they sort of stack. So it, it allows you to have quite a lot of flexibility of these connections. So we can do all sorts of things with, with bus bars and things to get those to... Uh, to pair to the to the motors, um, lots of communication ports. There, I'll bring it up here. They're really really nicely labelled. Um, it's not potted though, um, so there is going to have to be care taken to prevent water getting into that. Um, but it feels like a really good quality piece of electronics. Uh, the mounting system I have been working on here is actually for the Sir Ron. But the same system will be very easy to adapt for with the Enduro or two frame bikes. Um, the controller is not potted. So uh, effectively um, I'm sealing everything up with, with gaskets and just having penetrations for the phase wires and various battery and, and harness connections. Um, looking at doing a kind of a bus bar sort of uh, screw terminal system to, to route the, the connections um, to a single one. So for the three phases and for the battery there. So that's pretty much what I've got so far um, for this. And I've got all my measurements that I need to work with. So this unit is going to be sent off for bench testing with all these motors that we've got to try. And there'll be lots of testing updates on Discord. And there is actually a channel there dedicated to VASC. And as more projects get added onto that, uh, we'll put subcategories. And if you are interested in VASC and you're working with VASC and you want to be part of this, um, you're welcome to to join in on Discord and yeah, join in the fun and we'll see what we can come up with together. So thank you for watching the uh, High Voltage channel and uh, I'll see you on Discord. Cheers.